Hello everybody and happy Halloween. It is October 31st and we are here at the Walt Disney World McDonald's over by Animal Kingdom once again for a very special event today. It is the debut of the farewell tour, the final tour of the McRib. If you guys aren't familiar with what the McRib is, it is a barbecue sandwich that McDonald's brings around seasonally. It started back in 1981 and they've been doing it periodically ever since, but they have finally decided to discontinue the menu item for good and today is the day of its last run. I don't know when it's going to be wrapping up but today is when it's beginning so we're gonna head inside and get one and try it out all right we'll take it as is Let's see add to your order so I've had the McRib before but it's been a couple years I'm anxious to see if it tastes how I remember it but also I just want to get one because like I said it's only gonna be here till November 20th all right, and this is awesome. We actually got 31% off of our order because it is October 31st. So while we're waiting for the McRib to come out, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you a little bit about the history of the sandwich itself. So the McRib was actually created in 1981 and had testing in 1980, and it was developed by McDonald's first ever chief executive chef, whose name was Rene Arend, or Rene Arend, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but he was the same gentleman, he was from Luxembourg, who came up with the Chicken McNuggets in 1979. And so basically what happened was after the Chicken McNuggets began in 1979, all of the franchises wanted to have them. And there just simply wasn't enough chicken to go around in the United States, so they challenged him to come up with another specialty menu item and so he turned to pork and decided to develop the McRib sandwich. Now it would have been cheaper to put it on a regular sized hamburger bun but he wanted to stretch it out because of the fact that he really wanted it to look like a rack of ribs which it is known for today. It's shaped like a rack of ribs just with the bones taken out. They used a meat restructuring concept that had actually been uh, created by the U.S. military for packaging uh, meat that was sent to soldiers to eat in times of war in World War II and stuff like that. And so they're actually able to restructure the meat to form a rib-shaped uh, piece of pork on the sandwich topped it off with barbecue sauce, onions, pickles, and it was a huge success at first. By 1985, the sales started to dip a little bit, so they did decide to discontinue it and have a farewell tour then. There was also another farewell tour in the early 2000s, 2006, and now, of course, we have this farewell tour now. So we don't know if this is actually the last time we'll see the McRib or if it's gonna come back again. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But periodically in between, then they have brought it back seasonally, like I mentioned. Most of the time, it's always in the fall. And just another important note about the sandwich is that in Rene Aaron's home country, the man who invented it, Luxembourg and neighboring country Germany, the sandwich is actually available all the time. It is a permanent menu item over there in Central Europe in some countries. All right, so we just got the McRib, the fries, and my own sweet tea, of course. If you look in here, you can see what I was talking about, how it's shaped like a slab of ribs, kind of going that way. Fresh pickles, a McDonald's classic, as well as some onions on there. It smells delicious. It looks exactly the same as it did in previous tours. So now I guess we're just gonna see if we can taste it. I gotta get the napkins out of the bag though. It's a little bit messier than your typical cheeseburger. All right. I love how it's on like a hoagie bun. Mmm. The second I've been into it, I just thought I'm so sad it's going away. I forgot how good this is. Mmm. <laughs> That's delicious. So I know that ribs from a fast food restaurant is obviously something that makes people very skeptical, but this is actually, I mean, it, it really feels and tastes like very quality meat, especially if you just want like a pork sandwich. I'm a big fan of pork. It's not, it, there's not really many pork sandwich options unless you want to get a Cuban sandwich around restaurants in general. I love that it's boneless, obviously, because that's one of my big things with ribs and with chicken wings. I don't really like working around the bones. So the fact that it is that restructured meat that they came up with, is it's just great and i love the pickles i love the onions i love that it's the whole onions instead of the diced onions yeah i mean you can just look at the amount of barbecue sauce on this mm. it's delicious all right so we just wrapped up the meal and now we're over here summer is going to show you i just discovered this is a touch screen you can actually touch the different parts to learn about the different eco-friendly features of this mcdonald's so, look this is talking about the skylights and the solar panel windows over here. This is about the bikes that are outside. And you can just tap it. There, I guess you can just tap it and learn all about the store and how it saves on energy. That's kind of why I like coming to this one because it's a whole different experience 
I can't believe that I had no idea that these were touch screens the whole time I've been here. Nope, I guess these are not touch screens. They're just telling you to recycle. Oh, here's some more touch screens. Summer just found some kids games over here. Oh, it's like a puzzle you can build. Oh, uh, there you go. You're getting it. How fun. Okay, so I know it's not like perfect, but I'm drawing with my finger on like a play school screen. I'm sure you can guess by now. At least I hope you can guess. It is Mickey Mouse, of course. There, I'll put one of the ears on and we'll sign it. There you go, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming along today. I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing some of the inside of the Disney World McDonald's again if you missed the last video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of what the McRib looks like here in 2022 on its farewell tour. I am so devastated after tasting that sandwich that it's going away November 20th. I'll be sure to stop in here a few more times and get a few more before they quite literally go out of time forever. If you guys enjoyed this video though, if you enjoy McDonald's content or Disney World content, that's what we make here on the channel. So make sure that you like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and check out some more of the stuff that we've posted already. I hope you guys have a very happy Halloween and we'll see you next time. Enjoy the McRib.